It is no surprise that it's windy and cold in the beginning of April. But you can hear the wind and it's not doing the bees any favors. Especially right now, it's kind of anticipating warmer, nicer flight weather, but of course it hasn't come. The bees are under syrup, so that's a good thing. It's kind of halted my starvation event. That's a good thing. They need to get up and fly, and I think we're going to get that on the weekend. To relieve gut issues that I'm seeing within the apiary right now. They're on the pails. That one's done. That is a good thing. Getting fresh syrup into their guts. Once they get up and fly, they can just kind of flush out everything that's bad within them. So that's good. That's all we can do. <clears throat> Just put that on. clean floor. Better not track my muddy feet across it. Okay, we will turn this into a shop.
How romantic. Something comforting about the look of snow. As you can hear in the background. Gale forced winds today. Really lean on these sheltered yards. I wish I had more of them. A few yards exposed. These pails are being drained by the bees. Which leaves them empty and they blow around. So I'm picking up pails today. Just about done that pail. My bees are content under the snow, under a syrup pail. And if I can get a couple good flight days tomorrow and the next, maybe I can get some of the syrup to flush out their guts. I hate to say it, but I've helped myself one way but as you can see, I've caused another problem. These syrup pails are extremely important to get syrup into my starving nests. Halt the starvation issue. And it didn't give me any time to let these bees clean out their guts. That is the issue. Look at all the shit everywhere, including my pails. Unfortunately now, I might have little puddles of shit on top of all my beehives. One problem leads to the next. I kind of knew this was going to happen if I put them out too early with pails and then followed suit with snow and rain. What a mess. Not on that one. I don't think I've ever seen the bees this messy before. But they are alive so far. These girls were put out before they actually had a really good opportunity to fly, so they're not near as messy. That is to come. I would have just assumed if this came as rain. God, these are empty already. These I filled full, instead of three quarters, we put full. <laughs> Just about done. They mostly all came out in good shape. We actually haven't gone down into them to take a good look. That's a good sign. 